Holy crap, this guy sucks. I'm gonna blow him out. We've got the Lakers facing the New Orleans Pelicans. Joined by Hall of Famer Grant Hill, NBA champion Steve Smith, and our reporter, Allie LaForce. This is Brian Anderson. Tonight, two teams that love to run. Smitty, the NBA keeps getting faster and faster. You know, we all love scoring, and we love when teams play fast. But on a defensive end, you have to get stops. Usually the teams that can do both, run fast and score and play defense, and they win. We talk about Zion strength, but the body Can't control beat me. is also elite, especially for a guy his size. You hear me? Uh, he's gonna quit. Unable to get the ball in bounds, and they got called for a five-second violation. <laughs> Try to be an easy dub. McCullum outside. Pass to Valentunas. On the wing, Jones. And here's McCollum. Here's Williamson. That one's good on the sweet set up by Ingram. Williamson's got a second basket. Don't sleep on Ingram as a facilitator. Has the size to see over defenders and make sound decisions. Pass to Williamson. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. The defense can't stop a force like Zion. Once he's airborne, the slam is almost inevitable. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Williamson. Very nearly stolen. There's no need to force that pass. It's been fun watching Brandon Ingram's scoring stats climb. He's a guy who can really fill it up, whether he's inside or outside of the arc. With the drive. Oh, and the big finish by Williamson. With the reputation of a highlight reel dunker, Zion's always ready to put on a show. And stolen by Williamson. James with the block. And as it goes out of bounds, New Orleans will keep possession. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Now in Tunis. Defensively, this is what Davis gives you. The rare versatility to switch one through five, contain his man, and be in a position to help. And it's going to be a three-second call. Here's New Orleans now. It's been eight unanswered for them. You know, Grant, what's really impressive about Ingram's scoring is what he can do on those nights when he just goes off. Oh, yeah, we've seen some explosive stuff from him on the offensive end from time to time. Now, when he's dialed in, he can absolutely torch you. I just wish he could perform at that level every night. The Lakers protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And it boils down to the question toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. Reeves. And Ingram with the block. Wonderful defense from Ingram. Good to see him using his length to alter shots. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. James with the ball. And it's Ingram picking him up. And there it is for him. What a critical bucket. This game could have gotten out of hand early if they allowed that run to go much longer. Pass to Valentunas. And Davis with the block. This is what AD gives you at that end. He's made the all defensive first team multiple times. And it's good for two. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. 
Now Los Angeles with it. A 12-point game. Here's Reeves. Back to James. Over Williamson. LeBron oh, James. a beautiful finish by LeBron. Attacking the heart of the defense. LeBron doing his work inside the paint. The offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. This is my type of approach. Get some high percentage looks. Then later, you can play inside out. And we've got 118 left to the first. Pass to Williamson. Outside Ingram. Back to Williamson. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Anthony Davis. Hey, kept it simple. No reason to get fancy right now, B.A. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. It's James with the drive. And slam dunk by James. You can't give a steamroller like LeBron that kind of opening. He'll bury you every time. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Boy, good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. And the officials call goaltending, so they'll award the basket. Yeah, it was just a little late. I mean, he Bullshit. got there, but the ref saw it otherwise. And the Pelicans making a change here. Here's Hernan Gomez. Los Angeles. And the foul on Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis. That's his first foul. His first personal foul. First Goes up foul. off the inbound. And it's good on the lay-in. They have no answer defensively inside. 17 seconds left to play in the first. Here's James. And yes, it's good. He's seven for eight now. What a sudden drive by LeBron. The defense doesn't get any chance to react. And now we have an intentional foul. I'm not sure why. Yeah, bizarre play, B.A. Not sure what got into him. Good on the second one. Anthony with it. Up in time. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. The scoring is fast and furious as we end the first. Up nine, baby. Easy work. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck. Plenty of time left in this one. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Pelicans. Guys, their willingness to attack the basket so far has been great. They're penetrating, finding the holes in the defense, and scoring from close range. Something else I like out of them so far. They're throwing their bodies around in the paint and scoring inside. And we've heard those telling LeBron to shut up and dribble and stay out of it when it comes to social issues. Okay. Fortunately, he has no intention of standing on the sidelines. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. The Lakers trail. Here's Bradley. Back to James. And slam dunk by James. Assisted. Sometimes you have to sit back and enjoy the show. LeBron James is a legend. Appreciate what we are watching. And LeBron not just raising his voice, he's helped others do the same. His more than a vote initiative instrumental in getting record numbers to the polls. Opening up NBA arenas as voting centers. You want a government by the people, for the people. The ballot is how you do it. 
Billy. Fred, your dad played pro football. Do you think that players who grew up around pro sports have an advantage? Yes, B.A. Obviously, being around a professional athlete, understanding the dedication, the sacrifice, the work that goes into it, really, I think, helped me at an early age as I was developing in a different sport. Murphy's shot is off. Here's Bradley. On the wing, Bradley. Fires the three. No good there. Now New Orleans takes it the other way. It's stolen by Howard. Second quarter of action. About a minute and a half play. Here's Anthony. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And finished off by Grant. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Now here's Augustine. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Back to Anthony. It's deflected. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. Graham on the attack. Oh, sweet move. And he makes it. Graham's got five points in the quarter. So good at the rim. A slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lay. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. All right, B.A., Russell Westbrook last season said titles won't define him. He said, quote, I grew up in the streets. I'm a champion. I don't have to be an NBA champion. My legacy isn't based on what I do on this court. It's what I do off the court. How many people I'm able to impact and inspire. Different perspective, Alec. Good stuff. <laughs> and we'd all love to hear what goes on in those huddles, but we just get the snapshots. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. Side. On the take. Los Angeles. There's a whistle. That goes on Carmelo Anthony. That's, That's foul number two for Washington. him. Second team foul. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. And here's Ingram from the arc. Unable to get that one. The Lakers with the ball. Well, you need at least two stars to win big. It sure helps when they fit together as well as LeBron James and Anthony Davis. They complement each other perfectly. And there's a three-second violation. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Anthony. That one on Anthony. Each year, Brandon becomes a little more assertive at the offensive end, and we know he has the talent. That free throw, good from Ingram. Two shots. And LeBron said, when Anthony Davis came, we're running our offense through him. NBA, LeBron's a man of his word. In their first season playing together, James assisted Anthony Davis on more baskets than he had done for any prior teammate, hand and glove. Now here's Monk. Pass to Gabriel. Clock at four. Westbrook with it. Here's Reeves. Off target from three-point range. To the paint. Here's Valanciunas. That's good. And it's Williamson with the assist. 
Valanciunas has got 10 points in the game. And the ball out of play. The Pelicans will have it. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Out to McCullum. Three-pointer. The Lakers with a rebound. The drive by Westbrook. And finished off by Westbrook. Great pass. We talk about 80s guard-like skills. That includes his floor vision. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Westbrook. And the shot is good by Westbrook. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Count it. And the Pelicans lead by eight. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Pass to Reeves. All this means is he has to be careful. Don't want to pick up a cheapie and get sent to the bench with three fouls. Both teams will make substitutions. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Here's Valanciunas. The shot, no good. Excellent D there from Davis. Pelican foul. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. 20 seconds left in the second quarter. And it's James with the jam. With the elite handle, LeBron has defenders at his mercy. And the call will be against Brandon Ingram. Brandon That's his first foul of the game. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Here's Davis. He can't get that one to fall. Lone opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that. That one. That'll do it for the first half. Pelicans ahead. They lead by six. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Well, Anthony Davis helped rescuing the Lakers from some lean years. In the six seasons prior to his arrival, they've missed the playoffs more times than in the previous 65 years of the franchise. And a year after they got him, they're hoisting the Larry O'Brien Trophy. And now with his new contract, he should help them compete for a long time to come. Shot clock at two. Augustine. The three-pointer off the mark. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. That's his first foul. The Lakers trail. Outside Augustine. Pass to Howard. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Assistant. And another great DJ assist. Austin. The offense is really clicking now. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. Watch out now. When Zion is moving like this, get out of his way. Here's Reeves, covered by Ingram. Here's James. And it's James with the jam. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him with the score this tight. You cannot take a chance here. I love how efficient Zion is. Dependable at picking smart shots to take. To the inside. Pass to Monk. 4-3. Alan Chunas with a rebound. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. And things are definitely working offensively. A balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. This is where Zion's most dangerous. Out in the open floor, getting set up for the finish. And it's in there. James has got 24. 
Yeah, he's leading the charge for them. But let's be honest, he needs more help if they're going to get out in front. And the reason why is not just scoring. It's the way he's doing it. Efficient. That's what you need at this point in the game. And the longevity of LeBron's greatness is unprecedented. The oldest starter in the league last season and still producing at an MVP level. Fucking hate this guy, dude. Takes a whole time out. I'm trying to get out. How do I get out of here? Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. And what's incredible for LeBron is not just how good he is at his age, but the mileage on his body grant. So true, B. Come on, dog. You can't hit players in NBA history have exceeded 60,000 minutes played, including the playoffs. That's Why have they taken my start? Oh, uh, one uh, and only LeBron James. First team foul. Pass to Monk. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Inside. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Hey, you can't block it. Sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Malik Marvel at the line for two. So hits one and misses one at the line. New Orleans in the lead. And it's Ingram off the drive. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Ingram's got six. He's very long and slender frame, Brandon Ingram, but very effective at attacking the rim. You want unselfishness, but you also need to keep it under control. Wing shot on the way. Good on the shot. Damn, that was pretty. Point, New Orleans lead. What I like about Ingram at this point in his career, very decisive in his actions. James, left side. Now Howard. Clock at six. Give me that, boy. Just palms the block. Lakers. That's his third personal foul. First team foul. A minute 39 left in the third. Monk with a what? steal. What? Oh, man, come on. Defensively, you always Trash. want to keep vision on the ball. Nice job tracking and coming away with it. LeBron James. There's almost no stopping LeBron. He muscles his way right through contact. Here's Ingram. And he banks in the layup. Ingram's got six points in the quarter. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. Here's Augustine. Tries again. James can't get it to go. And it's Pelican's ball. They held a 12-point lead earlier. And a slam dunk by Ingram. Look how Ingram just bursts inside, disrupting the D and carving out a path to the dunk. Now here's Augustine. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Defensively, you have to tight up on him or suffer the consequences. Ingram into the lane. Got it. And the Pelicans lead by 10. Even though he's got a slender build, Brandon Ingram can finish through contact, especially with the momentum on the drive. And even from where we're sitting, you can clearly tell it was a foul. At the line for the Lakers, LeBron James. And the first one at the line is good. The durability and endurance of LeBron at this point in his career is astonishing. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. And a slam dunk by Ingram. He sends it home with some passion. I think he's rubbing it in a little bit here, hanging up there like that. 
If you can, use up the clock and route to the last shot. But you know, this is where your patience is tested. If you shoot too quickly, you give your opponent a chance to close out the quarter. Here's Augustine. Rebounded by New Orleans. And for some reason, he decided to foul there. Yeah, B.A., that's an odd move. Maybe there's something else behind it. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. At the line, Second free throw, no good. Los Angeles call. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. <laughs> Why is she dancing like that? <laughs> Low out, baby. It's a real ass whooping. He ain't never even take the lead. I spent three whole quarters at the top. On, on first place. Leading. Winning. You gotta take a whole time out. Come on, bitch boy. And so it's the New Orleans. Quit. Oh, you better quit right now, boy. Let's go. Fucking pussy. I made. Oh my gosh. That's a five. I'm on a five game win streak, y'all. Look at that. Six and two. I started off one and two. I'm on a five game win streak. Boy, ain't fucking with me, boy. I know I'm on junior varsity, but I'm going up. See y'all soon, man. Peace.